The signals used by your wireless network are just like any other radio signal you might find. They're like any other shortwave signal or any other car radio signal. They are simply radio waves. And because of that, they are susceptible to types of interference. The interference could be something that is external, could be something that is into some other type of natural phenomenon, but it could also be something that is man-made. And a part of the frustrating pieces of troubleshooting these wireless networks is trying to figure out where the those problems might be. And sometimes you create the problems yourself. You can connect different wireless access points and accidentally set the wrong frequencies and end up having your own access points, creating the interference that you're trying to avoid in the first place. Interference can come from a number of different places. Some very common places of 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz type of interference are things like fluorescent lights, which especially when a fluorescent light is going bad, it tends to put out a lot of radio signal interference. You can also find that in microwave ovens. Every time someone starts popping popcorn, you tend to have problems on your wireless network. It's probably coming right from your microwave oven. Cordless telephones tend to use the 2.4 gigahertz range some also use 5 gigahertz range as well. And those cordless phones can also cause a problem. Every time your phone rings, you have a diminished capacity on your wireless network. High power sources are also a very big source of interference, especially if there is a problem with connections or there happens to be an issue with some insulation on high power sources. Those can create a lot of problems for you as well. Sometimes the interference that shows up is nothing that you could have ever planned for, especially if you're in a very large building. There's many different tenants, and every single one of those tenants would like to have their own wireless network. Well, in those scenarios, it becomes extremely difficult to ever predict something like that happening. The person who is in the room next door to you could turn on a brand new access point that is misconfigured or configured in a way to conflict with your existing access points, and now nobody's network is going to work very well. That can be a very, very frustrating thing to troubleshoot as well. Sometimes you can see these problems. If you look at things like Netstat-E on your Linux machine, or you're looking at Performance Monitor on your Windows device, you can start to see problems at the wireless network level of it being able to send information in and out. You can also look at a number of other wireless statistics on those Performance Monitor stats. A very advanced way to look for these types of problems is with something like a spectrum analyzer, which is looking at the entire frequency range, and it's graphing for you every time it sees it, some signal, some noise at that particular frequency. So you're able to map out very easily where your access points might be. But even more importantly, you could see if there are other things out there in that frequency range that might be causing interference for your wireless network.